Hey guys, Web618 here. It is the 5th of August 2019. So we're going to do an update on Bitcoin right now. So in today's video, essentially what I want to run through with you is how the bulls seem to be taking control of this market. I'm going to show you using pitchforks how I like to use pitchforks as parameters of trend. I'm going to show you how pitchforks have allowed to justify allowed us to justify that this W X so the WXY pattern had completed. In my last couple of videos, I had spoken about this also. I'm going to reference those videos in today's video to just add on from what I was saying in those videos. Um, but yeah, that's essentially what we're going to be discussing in today's video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, guys, so uh, first thing I want to say, a massive thank you, as always. The channel is growing really nicely, both YouTube, Twitter. Following is uh, very good there, and a lot of people are signing up to the, the Discord membership for both Cryptology and my educational course. Uh, I did do a recent discount, a uh, 50% discount off the first month to the sign up of the Cryptology service. Uh, I've decided I'm going to run that again. So I'm going to put the link to that description in, uh, so the link to that uh, discount within the description of this video. So you'll be able to find that there. Also, I'll put it out on Twitter as well. So if you're interested, check that out. I'll have it running for perhaps the next three days, I think is reasonable, uh, just to allow people time to see the, uh, the offer. And um, yeah, but let's move on. So let's discuss Bitcoin. So in my last few videos, so last couple of videos, I was talking about this WXY playout. I explained, I gave lots of justification for why this WXY was complete. So check my video, two videos back, if you want a full explanation on this WXY count here. Uh, but essentially, it was testing this previous consolidation here. So that was one thing that it did. There was a very good one-to-one -one relationship between the W wave and the Y wave. And there was also pitchfork support. I'll bring on the pitchforks in a moment. Um, but in my last video, I mentioned how I was quite concerned. You can see how we went up here and then the retracement was very, very deep and it broke a significant pitchfork. And that's why I said at that moment in time, there were alarm bells ringing at that moment. And I, so I put out a video saying, if we drop, if we break this low here, this $9,042 low, I was saying that I was looking for price to come down to 7.3K. However, we held this low. So, yeah. so we, yeah, we never took out this low, which means that this is still valid as a WXY completion. And the fact that we've held this is actually giving a lot of strength to this chart right now. Obviously, until we move higher, there's always going to be people questioning, is this move up corrective and are we going to see another corrective sequence down? Obviously, if you're just using Elliott Wave, it does look like that is possible. But that's why I don't use Elliott Wave in isolation. I like to use pitchforks. They're good markers of trend. Um, as I say, I'll be bringing them on the chart in a moment. So for me, I'm so, this is all in keeping with the bullish trend right now. So let's pull on the, the pitchforks just to illustrate this. So first of all, okay, so this was the corrective pitchfork. It was a shift pitchfork using the, the high here. Then uh, the first wave down, which is our W wave as our second pivot. And the third pivot was our X wave. And this pitchfork is then used to try and determine where the Y wave will come down to. And you can see really nice support at the lower median line. So this is one thing that was um, suggesting this to be a significant turnaround. Now, what made us turn around at this point here? So there's another very significant pitchfork. I did mention it in my previous video. Uh, so yeah, it's this pitchfork. This is the larger pitchfork. So it's using the first two waves here. So first pivot, second pivot, third pivot. And yeah, it's this lower median line of this pitchfork that held price. Okay. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a reasonable pitchfork. So we can see the median line got tested a couple of times. We then pushed onto the upper median line. We trace back to our median line, bit of a bounce, and now we've come down and tested our lower median line. 
if we add on the 0 0.5 line to this pitchfork, you can see this also is a significant level. So acting as good resistance here, here, and yeah, again, resistance here and here, as well as temporary support here. So that's so I believe, yeah, it was probably this pitchfork. Now, I was saying if we took out seven point, uh, it's not seven, uh, nine thousand forty two dollars I was saying that I was looking for price to come down and test the lower warning line of this pitchfork. Obviously, now that we failed to take out this low, there was a show of strength in the Bitcoin um, chart and a very nice turnaround. Look how it turned around using this lower median line as support. And the things that I was wa wanted to see to confirm that bullish nature, I wanted to see this median line get taken out. I wanted to see this break to the upside. So that was a very key point that I was looking out for. Uh, but other things, obviously, I want to see get taken out is obviously this median line going up. I want to see us get above that. Once price, the next big obstacle is this upper median line here. Yeah, because until this gets taken out, there's going to I know there's going to be a lot of people saying this is still very bearish, but um, this is the main test. Usually you say that it's the break of the upper warning line that suggests that the bull trend is going to continue upwards. But once we reach this point here, you know, we're taking out these highs already. So that's already suggesting that we're going to move higher. I think we can probably call this a strong bullish turnaround once it breaks this upper median line. However, for me, I think it's already showing these signs of strength. And the reason I can say that is because I've been looking at the top 15 market cap cryptos. That's what we cover in the Discord um, or in the cryptology uh, service every every week. And we do updates on that. The Ethereum chart is so interesting at the moment um, where it's also showing a very, very useful pitchfork where price is actually adhering much closer to the lower warning line, uh, offering a much greater risk reward. I'm not going to go into that in this video. It's a bit beyond the scope of this video. There's lots to talk about on Bitcoin. So... Yeah, these are the two significant pitchforks that I was looking at that were supporting this um, corrective move. And I do feel that we can now say that we're going to move higher from here. As I say, it's these indicators that are supporting this. Uh, watch my video from two videos back that show all the validation for this WXY being complete. Um, and obviously in my last video, I'll just discuss the other pitchfork that was significant. So that was this pitchfork. It was this break of this pitchfork that was concerning me. Okay, but you can see how we've we've gone right back into the uh, into this pitchfork. Price is now being held within the pitchfork once more. So again, another show of strength using this pitchfork also. But the reason I like this pitchfork is because price adhered to it so well. Um, so it was basically this was our first impulse and our correction, and from then we had the first impulse of the next move and then the correction here to allow us to draw our pitchforks in the original pitchfork which generally allows uh, impulsive price action to adhere to and you can see how well it held price so lots of tests of the lower warning line here made our way up to the median line several hits here ranged down to the lower median line the lower warning line all the way back up to the upper warning line and you can see just looking at the chart this pitchfork has been respected really nicely we've got an overshoot here and we've got an overshoot to the downside. But as I say, using that other pitchfork, which held price, we're now back within this pitchfork. Now, because of these breaches now, it's not the major pitchfork that I'm following. I'd much rather follow uh, the other pitchfork, as I say, that incorporates these two major waves. So this pitchfork, for me, this is the key one to keep an eye on right now. Um, so obviously I want to see, we're going to find a bit of resistance at the median line, there's no doubt about that. Um, and obviously the other one to keep an eye on is this pitchfork. So these two pitchforks are the ones that I'm keeping a close eye on once we break these significant lines. These lines here, the upper median line is clearly going to be a bit of resistance. This median line is going to be a bit of resistance. And uh, once they get broken, they'll act as good support. So that's what I'm looking out for. Because this move has moved quite a lot, and a lot of people are thinking, shall I jump in at this moment? 
personally, uh, if you didn't manage to get in earlier, then I wouldn't jump in at this moment. As I say, we're close to these levels of uh, potential resistance. There will likely be a bit of a pullback before it then moves higher. Um, that's the way I'm looking at things. Obviously, invalidation of all of this is if we take out this low here and we come down further. That would invalidate this WXY as being completed as the overall uh, corrective sequence. And it means that it's more complex. Uh, could we then perhaps test this lower warning line after all? It's certainly possible, but as I say, I've been monitoring the the general the charts over the top 50 market caps and they're all sitting at support right now uh, so which is why it gives further confirmation for me that this is likely in terms of time probably completed at this point here we'll have to wait and see I'll be giving updates to um, show how price is responding to these lines over the next coming weeks uh, but yeah for me as long as we're in the um, confinements of this upward pitchfork, this long-term pitchfork, for me, this is, means that we're in a bull market still and um, we shouldn't really be looking for bearish moves. Uh, and if, if someone's trading bearish, it has to be on an intraday level, in my opinion, because for me, this um, it's, it's really respecting these bullish uh, pitchforks at present. Um, yeah, so at this moment in time, so we've had this first wave up, Correction here. So let's zoom in on the hourly, in fact. So that's if we do a fib extension of that. So, so far, we've come up to just gone past the 1.236. Obviously, with an impulse, or with if this is our wave one and wave two, you're looking for an extension up to the 1.618, which is where we're kind of coming into the realms of this upper median line that I talked about was getting some resistance as well as the median line. So we could potentially see our way make, made up to around the 1.618, then see our way for pullback and then go higher. That's one way it could play out. Yeah. But for me, once this, once these highs get taken out, the next stop for me, I, I believe is going to be 20k because just zooming out now, We really, on the, this is the log scale obviously where uh, it kind of squashes up price a little bit at the higher levels. But, okay, we need to put the markings on. So let's just hide this. Hide that. And get rid of that one. So basically from our all-time high, including, so we've come up to the 0.786. This is using the log scale on the, uh, sorry, this is using the Fibonacci retracement on the log scale okay so we've tested the 0.786 once you take out the 0.786 there's a very high probability you're going to make it to the all-time highs you know back to fully retrace and then propagate even higher very high chance so that's why i feel like then this run-in you know supposing this holds the next run-in is likely to you know reach 20k without much difficulty this is a good consolidation here to drive price much higher yeah it's it's paused for a while here, lots of buy orders coming in, uh, allowing price to go higher. That's the way I'm looking at it at this moment. Now, if we look at it, uh, so this, as I say, is the log scale settings. If we take off the log scale settings, it's the linear scale settings for the FIB retracement. So we found resistance at the 0.618. So this is using the linear scale. And um, so again, 0.618 is significant. Once we take out the 0.618, that is a, 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 a battle lost for the bears, in my opinion. This is deep. This is this is you know significant um, consolidation here under the 0.618. So you would expect it to drive us a lot higher, you know, through the 0.786, very likely to the 20k. So yeah, for me, the next stop is all-time highs with, with this consolidation, and the validation is obviously uh, these lows here. So yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. Essentially using pitchforks, that's my favorite indicator because the pitchforks that I use, they incorporate Elliott Wave. They're based on Elliott Wave. So by using the pitchforks, you're already incorporating um, the theory behind Elliott Wave. Elliott Wave takes into consideration the market sentiment. It takes into consideration uh, RSI divergence. It takes into consideration volume. Um, so you really, when, when you're using pitchforks, you're using 
by proxy, essentially, all of these other indicators, um, as well as trend, which for me is the best marker of trend. You've got obviously moving averages, you can draw trend lines. I've experimented with all of these things, and by far, Pitchfork seems to support price the best. Um, so yeah, that's uh, I'd like to wrap that up there. And um, as I say, leaning bullish at this moment in time. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you updated with regards to how I see things progressing over next few weeks. And um, yeah, exciting times ahead, definitely. So if you found value in this content, then please leave a like. Any queries, of course, just put a put just write in the comments down below. As I say, regarding the discount on Cryptology service, where we cover all the top 50 market caps, it gives a lot better comprehension of the the overall picture in crypto. And I go into more detail on Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, then check that out. That is where I kind of put updates out more, you know, quicker. So I have to give a priority to the group, uh, to that service. Um, so yeah, they get the soonest updates essentially. All right. So yeah, as I say, a uh, link to the discount will be in the description. I'll put it out on Twitter as well. It's basically 50% discount off the first month. So it allows you to sample what's going on, what the service is all about. Um, so you can get a feel for it and decide if you're, you're interested. And yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up with that one. All right, guys, take care.